Today, I'm Nestor Lacanto with the Pacific Daily News. Here are our top stories from the PDN Newsroom. The Mayor's Council of Guam is not pleased with its proposed appropriation in the fiscal year 2025 budget bill that was passed last Friday by the legislature. In a council meeting Wednesday, MCOG President and PD Mayor Jesse Alex said there's no increase in the budget at all, so what you receive this year is similar to what you'll be receiving in 2025, so that's not a good thing. Alex said the FY25 budget passed not the way we asked for it to pass. The mayor's initial request to the legislature was for $19.9 million, but they were advised to reduce it and brought it down to $14 million. But what was passed was $12 million, Alex said. In other news, a trial in the decade-long lawsuit filed by DFS Guam against the airport was supposed to start Wednesday, but was pushed back for another 24 hours after a company lawyer floated the possibility of a resolution to the case. Close to a dozen attorneys appeared in Judge Arthur Barcinas' courtroom Wednesday morning for the start of a bench trial in DFS's suit against the AB Wanpat International Airport Authority. DFS has been fighting the case since 2013, alleging misconduct when the airport awarded competing company Lotte Duty Free a master concession contract worth $154 million. Finally, the Guam Attorney General's office filed a motion late Tuesday in court asking it to vacate the August 29 decision that dismissed a case against Guam Regional Transit Authority officials as well as an April 25th order that disqualified the OAG. The motion was filed by Acting Chief Prosecutor Gloria Rudolph and Special Assistant Attorney General Curtis Vandeville. The AG's office argued that the time has not yet lapsed for the AG's motion for reconsideration of the disqualification notice and therefore the decision to dismiss the case was premature. AG Douglas Moreland said that the oral order issued on August 29th was procedurally defective and void. Take Care Insurance has protested the third-party administrator bid for the Government of Guam's self-insurance plan. Department of Administration Director Edward Byrne confirmed Wednesday. Byrne declined to discuss the basis for Take Care's protest or to release a copy of the protest letter because it was a procurement matter, he said. The fiscal 2025 third-party administrator contract was awarded to Calvo Select Care for medical and to Net Care for dental, both of which also win the bids for the current fiscal year, which ends September 30. The government of Guam began fully self-insuring its employees, retirees, and dependents for medical in fiscal year 2024 through the GovGuam Group Health Plan. It began self-insurance for dental coverage in fiscal 2020. In other news, the National Weather Service Weather Forecast Office on Guam said it is watching closely as a possible tropical cyclone could develop in the region, bringing more weather activity. NWS released its weekly regional weather outlook on Tuesday and said the region remains free of significant weather at this time. Locally, there is growing speculation about the possibility of a tropical cyclone developing within the FSM later this week and moving toward the Mariana sometime early to mid next week. This remains one of several forecast scenarios for the region through the next week, the NWS said. For now, there are no suspect tropical disturbances in the region. However, the NWS will keep a close eye on conditions within the trough northwest of Guam and in the FSM for any suspect areas for development. And finally, with the start of a fourth trial imminent, Attorney David Lujan, representing accused defendant Nicholas Wayne Moore, filed a motion on Tuesday asking the court to dismiss the charges against his client. The case has already undergone three jury selections under Judge Alberto Tolentino. A fourth jury selection and trial is imminent, but will now be presided over by Superior Court Judge Vernon Perez. A trial is scheduled to start in about a week pending decisions on motions. Perez held a hearing on Tuesday that included government prosecutor Sean Brown, as well as Lujan's co-counsels for the defense attorneys Michael Phillips and William Gavaris. Moore is accused of shooting Brian Mendiola on October 20, 2020. In his motion, Lujan alleges that jurors were wrongfully dismissed by Tolentino. He said Tolentino's actions were unjust and the only remedy would be to dismiss the superseding indictment against his client. For more of these stories, go to guampdn.com and follow us on social media.